Today I'm going to be showing you how to make my easy sugar cookie recipe and here are the ingredients that we need. One cup of unsalted butter, one cup of granulated sugar, three cups of all-purpose flour, one egg, one teaspoon of baking powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, and two teaspoons of vanilla extract. So those are the ingredients, so let's get started. And a recipe note, if you are using salted butter, simply omit the salt in my recipe. I'm gonna get my butter into our bowl. And you do not wanna use cold butter, you wanna have room temperature butter. You can see how easily that broke down. That's good. Then I'm gonna add in all of our sugar. And now I want to cream this together. Once that looks good, I'm going to add in my egg. And this is really going to loosen up that mixture and really help with the creaming process. And that looks good. I'm going to add in my vanilla. I'm going to add in the salt as well. Just a little bit of salt and that's perfect and now we're going to sift in our flour so here's my flour and here is the baking powder so I'm just going to get that in there and then I'm going to grab a sieve and just start sifting this in and get that all in there perfect then we'll grab our mixer for our last time and we're going to just slowly mix all of this together so speed number one, so nice and slowly. And now we just want to keep mixing this until it starts coming together. And all of a sudden now you can see that this is coming together. And if you find that your batter is a little bit on the dry side, you can add a couple of tablespoons of water and that will start helping bringing it together. And that's good, just like that. And I'll just show you how this looks when we grab it. It looks very dry, but look at this. You see how nice that is? So when you're mixing it, and if you see that it looks dry, a couple of tablespoons of water and it will just bring it right to life. So I'm gonna grab my dough, eyeball it, split it into two. And you don't want to put this into your fridge to chill like this because it's very uneven and it's going to take a lot longer for this to chill. So you want to make yourself a disc. So push it down, turn, push, just get it flat. Onto some plastic. And then we're going to get these into the fridge. You can chill them down for about half an hour max and then we're ready to roll them out. So there's one. Grab our next one. Okay, so by squeezing this into a disc, it just chills it a lot better and a lot more uniformly. good enough. Right onto there. Like that. Perfect. One, two discs into my fridge for about a half an hour, then I'll come back. So about a half an hour later, we are ready to go. I'm going to get down a little bit of bench flour. This is just all-purpose flour. We'll get our nice dough down here. I'm going to grab my rolling pin and just get a little flour on there as well. And I'm just going to roll this out. And there are no rules for rolling. You can make the, your cookies as thin or as thick as you wish. So when you are rolling cookies or pie dough, you want to just give your dough a little bit of a spin just to keep it round in shape. I have an offset spatula here, 
and I like to get that underneath my dough. I find that works really well. And as you pull it through, you can grab a little bit of your flour and just bring it underneath. And that helps lift it off your surface. spatula right underneath again. You can see as you're bringing it through it's just about halfway so I'm good. And I'll just show you that's about the thickness that I want so I think that's good like that. And I do have my oven set to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I have here a cookie pan with a little bit of parchment on here. So for today I'm going to be using a 3 inch round cutter. I'm just going to start getting all of these cookies onto my tray. So I'll keep going at this and I'll be back in a second. And then you want to gather up your dough and just roll it out again. And I can still feel my, that my dough is cool, which is good. We're going to bake these about seven minutes. Now you do have the option of chilling down your tray before they go into the oven, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to pop them directly into my oven. But if you do wish to chill them first, you may do that as well. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to pop these into my 400 degree Fahrenheit oven for about 7 minutes. So here we are, 7 minutes in my 400 degree Fahrenheit oven. So a really, really easy recipe, you're going to get about 28 cookies if you use a 3 inch cutter. That's it for today, I hope you enjoyed my video, if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wish, I really do appreciate that. That's it, and I'll see you next time. Look at this. Oh, love it. Mmm. Really, really good. Mmm. I love sugar cookies. And please subscribe to my Bake Like a Pro YouTube channel and also click that notification bell to be alerted every time I upload a brand new video.